more tune from the Below us was a guy that claimed his name was John Barrymore Jr. And uh, he'd walk up and down the stairs in these Shakespearean robes reciting Shakespeare with golf shoes with spikes in them, although he didn't golf. And um, he, he kept pounding on our door. We opened it up. He'd say, Michael, Brian, let me give you acting lessons. You know? And we'd say, oh, that's OK, John, you know, another time. You know? So. Um, Pretty soon we stopped answering our door when someone would knock on it, you know, because he stopped announcing himself as he did it. So we just hear this, and we go, you know, I bet that's John, you know. So we had a gap under our door about this big where like, large rats can fit through. <laughs> so um, we would just creep up and kind of look under the door, and if we saw, you know, a bullet, I mean, uh, um, golf shoes with spikes, then we knew it was him, so we wouldn't answer. We'd pretend like we weren't home. So one day, uh, I get home from somewhere, and Brian goes, Mike, you're not going to believe this. Uh, Drew Barrymore was visiting John Barrymore Jr. today at lunch. I said, no way. There's no way. He said, I'm not kidding. Definitely, he's related somehow, some weird way. You know? And I said, definitely, we should take acting lessons from the guy. You know? <laughs> so, so I went first for my first acting lessons from John Barrymore Jr. And, uh, you know, he let Michael oh, come in. And I came in, and he had a little dog drinking beer out of a bowl. <laughs> and he had just, he, just, he was pouring it. Actually, he got, as, as he opened the door, he, and the dog's drinking it. But the dog was shaking, and I'm thinking, that's normal, I guess. But I realized later why the dog was shaking, because as, they, as the uh, other animals heard this, they started coming out from under the bed and, and from the curtains, and 16 cats, you know, all different colors, all different kinds, <sighs> looming over the bowl. So that dog was history at that point, you know. So it was their beer. <laughs> and he looked, and I was pretty amazed by that, you know. And uh, I, he said, Michael, time for your lesson. And he sat down on his bed, in the corner of his bed, and he yanked me, pulled me over, and began to spank me on the bottom. <laughs> Acting lesson over, right? So the saddest part, which I still feel bad about today, which I probably have not been forgiven for, is uh, I said, uh, I went upstairs and said, Brian, your turn. Mm-hmm. 